Hello and welcome to a No For God podcast. I am so happy you're here today. Today is episode 12. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at a note for God. If you have not done so already, just go over there and like it and follow me. Uh, screenshot that you're listening to the episode. And definitely don't forget to share this episode with other people. We are on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, and I love that I also upload the audio to YouTube because sometimes it's so much easier just to look it up on YouTube, right? I don't know about you, but sometimes it is, it's easier for me. So definitely you go over there, you click the link and you share it with someone. One thing I'm going to share before we get started is this Christian store that I absolutely love, 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 love. And I just don't say that just to say it. The link will actually be on the show notes. So definitely go over there. What I love about this store is everything is so beautiful, beautifully created. And I am such a person that I like to give like practical gifts, right? The holidays are coming up. Um, the best part, y'all, it is 30 to 80% off. You heard me right, 30 to 80% off. And everything's so beautiful. If you're going to go meet your girlfriends or, you know, somebody bought a new house, these are great items to have just to have because you never know. And let me tell you, I'm going to take a picture actually, and I'm going to post it on my Instagram just to show you what I have. They're little Bible verse cards. Um, they actually have, what else do they have? Books, like devotionals and verses that you can print up. Actually, they mail you everything. And I have my little gift station in my closet. So if I go meet with a couple of my friends, I just go there and see which one really I want to give to them. So definitely check it out. I love this store. I am an affiliate, so I do get a small uh, commission, but once you're there, you're going to love it. Like it's absolutely the only really Christian store online that I shop for. And I love, and if you get something, let me know. For real, let me know because I want to know because I love this store. All right, so let's get started on today's episode. It is titled Words of Encouragement. This is going to be probably a really short episode. And I was thinking today, okay, God, what is it that you want me to talk about today? And that's what it was, Words of Encouragement. I'm going to read three different Bible verses because sometimes we feel defeated we feel like we're going through stuff alone. We feel overwhelmed, stress, that sometimes we're losing in life. Or like when is whatever you're going through going to be over, right? The first verse I'm going to read to you, and they're all going to be in the New Living Translation version. I highly recommend that if you're driving, when you get home, take out your Bible app, your notebook, and read it, and also take notes. The first Bible verse I'm going to read is Psalms 46, 5. God is within her. She will not fail. God will help her at break of day. Let me read that again. Psalms 4, 6, 5. God is within her. She will not fail. God will help her at break of day. Sometimes we feel alone. Like nobody understands us. Nobody gets us. Nobody understands what we're going through. Or we don't talk about what we're going through, therefore we feel alone. But God sees it and knows it all, right? One of the things that I can honestly say that for the last, what, 10 months, probably 11 months, is that no matter how I felt, God has always come through. God has literally been my provider for the last 10 months, right? When I share this testimony, hopefully one day I will, you would be amazed, right, at what every, everything that God has done for me and my life and my kids. Like, praise all God, because I, myself, and no man will get credit for anything that has happened in the last what, 11 months, right? And it kind of goes back to when we feel these type of emotions, it's okay, but get back in the Word and find Bible verses that will really encourage you. Another thing I do suggest is really, if you can, 
really get close or find a woman of God, right? That they, they will encourage you. They will listen to what you're going through, but also pray for you and encourage you. And that's really one of the things I learned really when I got saved, that it's a different relationship, right? With women of God, we pray for each other. We listen, we give each other advice, but it always goes back to the Bible, right? They're not going to give you worldly advice, right? Like, oh, do X, Y, and Z. It's always, what does the Bible say? And let me pray or let me talk to God and see what he says. So definitely get yourself a great set of uh, women of God. I do have that. And I'm so very grateful that God has placed women of God in my life. Because one of the things also that I had to learn is to be humble and to learn from others. Not that I had a problem before, but it's like, okay, I'm a newbie. I'm a newly uh, saved Christian and I know nothing. And what is so amazing as is that these women of God, the friends that I have, and I hopefully the friends that you have never made me feel like, oh, well, you're, you're so new. Like, why don't you know this? Or go read the Bible. It's, we have you, we got you. Look up this scripture, look up that scripture, pray, really talk to God, right? The other verse I do want to read to you is Joshua, here we go, Joshua 1, 9. And I actually have, I think it's like the Bible verse I bought at Home Goods, probably Home Goods or Big Lots. Or Hobby Lobby. Oh my goodness, I don't remember. But <laughs> I have it next to my desk. And it says, uh, Joshua 1 night. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Don't you just love that? Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go go. And that's something I also had to learn. If I felt defeated, discouraged, like stressing, like how am I going to do this? And I knew God told me to do something. I just had to remind myself, God, you told me to do this. So I know you're going to be my provider. I know you're going to make a way. So therefore I really don't have to worry or stress. I know, I know what you're saying, but I stress. I know we all stress, but little by little you Stop worrying about that and really have faith. God told me to do X, Y, and Z. I was obedient. Now, God, it's up to you because you told me, right? So definitely, I know, trust me, sometimes it's not as easy. I've been there, done that. Sometimes I'm like stressing now, like you told me to do this so I don't see results. But it's kind of bringing it back to say, okay, you told me to do X, Y, and Z. I did it. And now you're in charge. You're going to lead the way, right? Which brings me to Matthew 6, 26, 7. And I really want you to read this one, maybe even screenshot it or share it or, or definitely write it. And it says, look at the birds. They do not plant or harvest or store food in barns for your heavenly father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to him than they are? Can all your worries at a single moment to your life. The specific line that really brings it all together for me is, and aren't you far more valuable to him than they are? Right? He is always going to provide. And if you look at what he said before, Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in the barns. Like they're not worried, right? They know their God is going to provide for them. And aren't you far more valuable to him than they are? Therefore, he's always going to provide to you, right? I just love that verse. Matthew 6, 26, 7. Definitely go and read these three verses. Psalms 46, 5. And I do have it in the show notes. So if you're driving, don't worry. Uh, Joshua 1, 9 and Matthew 6, 26, 27. Sometimes we just need words of encouragement. And whatever you're going through, if you're feeling sad, depressed, angry, bitter, whatever emotion you're going through, it's so simple. Go on Google, Bible verses for 
whatever. Insert your emotion here. And it's going to give you a whole bunch of Bible verses. And that's sometimes what we have to do because I'm going to be honest, I don't know every single Bible verse. I don't, right? So it's nice when you do that, you type and you're like, wow, I didn't know the Bible said that. Or I didn't even remember that was in there. So definitely do that when you get a chance. Another thing I want to remind you is I have episode three called A Father's Love Letter. Let me tell you, that has been like the number one episode that people have listened to. Episode three, it's called A Father's Love Letter. So when you're done here listening to this uh, episode, definitely go find episode three and listen to that. That will literally bring tears to your eyes because it is the most beautiful letter um, written. And you're going to see, you can even actually Google it, but definitely listen to the uh, episode. It's different Bible verses put together. Hence, it's called A Father's Love Letter. Uh, I heard about this maybe, I want to say three years ago. Three years ago when Pastor Beverly Tucker, if you do not follow her on Facebook, definitely follow her. She's an amazing uh, pastor, deliverance pastor. So definitely follow her. She read this in one of the classes she was holding. And my God, I was just, wow. I had to go look it up. <laughs> you know, I had to go look it up and print it off. And then I read it in my podcast. So definitely episode three called A Father's Love Letter. Again, if you are feeling depressed, emotional, going through something, always go back to the Bible. Always go back to the Bible and read that Bible. And there you will find comfort. And I would also encourage you to find women of God. And God will bring them to you. If you don't have them, you know, because I didn't start having, you know, really friends like that. God will bring them to you slowly and surely he will bring them to you. So definitely pray for that as well. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Again, I really want you to go read those three Bible verses. They're super short, like you see. And sometimes for us to remember, we sometimes have to write it down, right? So take that Bible verse and write it down. There's something about writing it that will make you remember it better, right? I guess as a teacher, I always say that to my students. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'm ending with Matthew 25, 23, because when I close my eyes in this world and open up my eyes to see God, my father, I want him to reach his hand out to me and say, well done, good and faithful servant.